The Gong Fu Tea Ceremony or Kung Fu Tea Ceremony Chinese, Gong Fu Cha or Gong Fu Cha is a kind of Chinese tea ceremony, involving the ritualized preparation and presentation of tea. It is probably based on the tea preparation approaches originated in Fujian and the Chaoshan area of eastern Guangdong. The term literally means, "...making tea with skill." Today, the approach is used popularly by tea shops carrying tea of Chinese origins, and by tea connoisseurs as a way to maximize the taste of a tea selection, especially a finer one. History Attention to tea making quality has been a classic Chinese tradition. All teas, loose tea, coarse tea, and powdered tea have long coexisted with the imperially appointed compressed form. By the end of the 14th century, the more naturalistic, loose leaf form had become a popular household product and by the Ming era, loose tea was put to imperial use. In Japan, tea production began in the 12th century following Chinese models, and eventually evolved into the Japanese tea ceremony, meant to be exclusive to political and military elites. The related teaware that is the teapot and later the gaiwan lidded cup were evolved. It is believed that the Gongfu tea preparation approach began only in around the 18th century. Some scholars think that it began in Wuyi in Fujian, where the production of oolong tea for export began. Others believe that it was the people in Chaoju in the Chaoshan area in Guangdong started this particular part of the tea culture. Senchado in Japan started in the early Edo period influenced from China. Oral history from the 1940s still referred to Gongfu Cha as Chaoshan Gongfu Cha. It is likely that regardless of the earliest incidents of the approach, the place that first successfully integrated it into daily life was Chaoshan area. Chaoju is recognized by some as the capital of Gongfu tea. Chemistry and physics In essence, what is desired in Gongfu cha is a brew that tastes good and is satisfying to the soul. Tea masters in China and other Asian tea cultures study for years to perfect this method. However, method alone will not determine whether a great cup of tea will be produced. Essentially, two things have to be taken into consideration, chemistry and temperature. Water chemistry Water should be given careful consideration when conducting gongfu cha. Water which tastes or smells bad will adversely affect the brewed tea. However, distilled or extremely soft water should never be utilized as this form of water lacks minerals, which will negatively affect the flavor of the tea and so can result in a flat brew. For these reasons, most tea masters will use a good clean local source of spring water. If this natural spring water is not available, bottled spring water will suffice. Yet high content mineral water also needs to be avoided. Hard water needs to be filtered. Temperature. During the process of gongfaha, the tea master will first determine what is the appropriate temperature for the tea being used, in order to extract the essential oils of the tea. An optimal temperature must be reached and maintained. The water temperature depends on the type of tea used. 95 degrees Celsius for oolong tea 100 degrees Celsius boiling for compressed teas, such as pu erh tea. Note, green tea is usually not used for a gongfu tea ceremony. The temperature of the water can be determined by timing, as well as the size and the sizzling sound made by the air bubbles in the kettle. At 75 to 85 degrees Celsius, the bubbles formed are known as crab eyes and are about 3 mm in diameter. They are accompanied by loud, rapid sizzling sounds. At 90 to 95 degrees Celsius, the bubbles, which are now around 8 mm in diameter and accompanied by less frequent sizzling sounds and a lower sizzling pitch, are dubbed fish eyes. When the water is boiling, neither the formation of air bubbles nor sizzling sounds occurs. At high altitudes, water boils at lower temperatures, so the above rules cannot be applied. Tools and equipment Below is a list of the main items used in a gongfu tea ceremony in Taiwan, known there as Lao Ren Cha Pinyin, Laurentia. Brewing vessel, Yixing teapot, porcelain teapot, or a covered bowl gaiwan. 
tea pitcher, shahai, or any matching size decanting vessel, used to ensure the consistency of the flavor of the tea. Chinese, Gong Dao Bay Pinyin, Gong Dao Bay. Hot water kettle, e.g., an electric kettle. Brewing tray, or a deep, flat bottom porcelain plate to hold spills. Spills are typical. Tea towel or tea cloth, usually dark colored. Tea spoon, tea pick for clearing the teapot spout, separating leaves from pu erh cakes and clearing tea leaves, etc. Tea cups, traditionally three cups are used in most instances, matching size. Also named pinming cup, pinming fragrance smelling cup is intended to capture the aroma and essence of the brewed tea, and is matched with the pinming cups. Timer. Strainer, a tea strainer, Chinese, Ludo, Pinyin, Ludo, sometimes built into the tea pitchers. Tea holder, tea leaf holder for weighing and dispensing, or a wooden teaspoon to measure the amount of tea leaves required, Chinese, Cha Shi Pinyin, Cha Kai. Optional, tea basin or bowl used as the receptacle for used tea leaves and refuse water. Optional, scale. Optional, kitchen thermometer. Optional, scent cup, snifter cup, used to appreciate the tea's aroma, Chinese, traditional Wen Shan Bei, simplified Wen Shan Bei, Pinyin Wen Shan Bei. Optional, a pair of tongs called Jia, Chinese, Zia or Giab, in both the Chao Zhou and Min Nan dialects. Optional, a calligraphy style brush with a wooden handle, which is used to spread the wasted tea evenly over the tea tray to ensure no part dries out and the tea stain is spread evenly to ensure a pleasing color to the tray. A tea pet, usually made from the same clay as a Yixing teapot, is fun to have. One kind of tea pet is a tea boy. Prior to the tea ceremony, he is soaked in cold water. Hot water poured over him during the tea ceremony will make him pee. Traditionally these pets are classical Chinese figurines, such as a dragon, lion turtle, or toad, and are used as a receptacle over which the wasted tea is poured, usually to avoid splattering of the hot water against the tray both the sound and the spray this action creates. References <laughs>